I'm Rick Fulbaum, and this is your CBS Miami News Brief. First, let's get a check of your travel forecast from meteorologist Craig Setzer. Craig. Rick, our travel weather across the country looking pretty good. Fall like temperatures across much of the nation, but uh, still kind of warm and some showers and thunderstorms from Texas up towards Mississippi and Missouri, as well as Arkansas and Louisiana, even eastern Oklahoma. Also, the Sunshine State getting plenty of liquid sunshine highs there in the 80s. In the Northeast, it'll be sunny and nice temperatures in the 60s and 70s, definitely fall like weather. In the Midwest, another cold front coming through. Temperatures ahead of the front in the 70s and 80s, but behind it only in the 50s and 60s. And snow, Expected in the northern Rockies, the southwest looking nice temperatures mostly in the 70s and 80s. Deserts will see temperatures in the low to mid 90s. And that's a look at your travel weather. Thanks very much, Craig. Well, we know you're busy and it can be difficult to find time to focus on fitness. Every Monday on CBS 4 News, we're sharing stories of what's moving you. This week, we head out to Fort Lauderdale, where it didn't take long for our own meteorologist, Dave Warren, to realize to stay in the game, you need to move a lot. I'm Dave Warren in Fort Lauderdale. We're moving you, and this week we're playing dodgeball. Three, two, one. If it sounds familiar, it's because chances are you've played a game or two at one point in your life. The rules are simple don't get hit, then work together to eliminate the other team. But most of all, have fun. Mike contacted Moving You and invited us out to give it a try. So after a warm-up and a quick review of the rules for my sake, we were off. At first, it was mostly dodging. But eventually, I was able to get a ball and try to go on the offense. After just a few minutes on the court, you can see why there is such a large group that shows up to play with Mike. We all had that childlike love of like throwing a ball at people, and we still feel it. Even though we're adults, we still have that same you know childlike intensity of competition, and I think dodgeball kind of captures that in, in like the safest way that we can still play. Safest being the term since the players are intense and it can be tough to get out of the way, let alone catch. <laughs> <laughs> I actually once got hit in the face and my contact popped out and we had to stop the game to search for it. And you either love it or hate it and the majority of us love it. It's not full contact sport, but getting hit might leave you with a mark or two. Speaking of which, those aren't injuries on those players. We came to visit on zombie themed night. It might be very competitive on the court, but they also like to have fun yeah. off the court. Yeah. Getting to know people, creating a family, and honestly, getting buy one, get one drinks here at the same place where you play, I can't think of a, of, a, of a better way to spend a Wednesday night. Don't worry if you've never played before, the group will always try to ease you in. We try to take it easy on the newbies. Um, <laughs> We actually recognize the newbies a lot because uh, typically they have that like zero awareness of the cord. We want the newbies to kind of like come back so we don't immediately like blast them out. It's kind of embarrassing. A little more intense than I once remembered back on the playground, but it gets you moving. I'm Dave Warren for CBS 4's Moving You in Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> Nicely done, Dave. And like they said, they always take it easy on the, news guy, the new guy, even though it didn't look like that. There are games every week. The league even offers free play days now and then. All the links you can find on our website, cbsmiami.com. That's the news for now. You can always find us at cbsmiami.com. And you can tune into the CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.